Welcome to State of Tech, Kindle Fire app of the week. Today we're gonna take a look at the Wi-Fi analyzer. So if you've been using your Kindle Fire for any point of time, um, like I have, it's kind of a pain to figure out how good a Wi-Fi signal is. Um, on most devices, it's kind of a pain to figure out how good a Wi-Fi signal is, but on the Kindle, it just seems much more difficult. So there's this app you can get uh, in the marketplace called Wi-Fi Analyzer. It's a free app to download. It's ad supported, so there'll be an ad down at the bottom, but it's not a big deal. Um, what this does is it gives you this graph that you can look at all of the Wi-Fi signals that are within your area. Now, um, obviously the biggest spike will be the one closest to you, and then there will be smaller spikes uh, showing all of the different networks that are around. Even some of those ones that it typically wouldn't show you um, because they're out of range, uh, this is showing you everything. There's also alternative views. Uh, if we go into the settings and tap on view, our default view is the channel graph. We also have a time graph, a channel rating, an AP list, and a signal meter. So I'm going to go ahead and view time graph, which is going to show us uh, a different view and show how this signal strength has been um, over time since the app has been running. So this is a good view if you're wondering if your signal is dropping out and it's not staying strong. Perhaps you could move around your, your home or your office and see where the signal drops. This is a really neat view uh, because it will show over time. So as you move, you'll see the signal move up and down on a graph and uh, you know just move around, see where that signal drops. Um, it's very important when setting up your Wi-Fi that you choose a good location to put your router, your wireless router. Um, for example, some more newer homes have one specific space where all of those cables come together, and so you have to put it there. Uh, it may be that you have to look at hiring a professional to come out and help you optimize that so that you can get signal clear across your house. I know that some devices, such as my iPhone, gets a little bit better signal than my, uh, my Kindle Fire here. So let's go into a different view. We've already looked at the first two. We'll look at channel rating. It just gives us a, a channel rating on, on a star rating across all the different channels that typically are available. Um, all I have to do is choose a, uh, a Wi-Fi and it shows me the channel rating. So it's saying that I probably want to go with channel 14 in this case. Um, this is a little bit more information. It might not be something that you're familiar with. Um, you can set up your router on different channels. Um, typically, it does a pretty good job of choosing its own channel, but this will give you a rating and let you know what channels are good to go with. Now let's move on to another. We have our AP list. Um, which is showing us basically uh, how good our signal is in strength. And so these numbers are a little bit different. It's showing um, the, uh, the range of your signal and the strength of it. Um, I'm seeing several different signals here, uh, starting with the one that's in my office, which is a strong signal number all the way down to low signals. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the last one, which is our signal meter. And so what we would want to do here is tap to select a Wi-Fi, and then it's going to show us how good our signal is on a meter. This might be a good one for you to select if you are just checking your Wi-Fi at your home. For example, uh, you can move around the house with a meter, and when the meter drops below green into yellow and then yellow into gray, where gray is probably too weak of a signal for you to really connect, um, you'll know the places in your home or your office that you can use your Wi-Fi well without having to buy one of those repeaters or perhaps relocating your Wi-Fi router. Um, this is all stuff that you would not be able to do uh, in the default, just looking at your little how many bars you have when you're viewing your Wi-Fi signal. Now, you can also change a bunch of settings. There's a lot of different settings in this app. Um, standard default settings are probably going to be good for most of you. I didn't make any changes on my default settings out of the app. Uh, I'm using an Apple router here, an Apple base station. I also have a Linksys router here as well, and the default settings worked good on all of those. Um, if you are a little bit more tech inclined and you like geeking out on this stuff, the settings page is a good one for you because you can go in and just hone in on those settings and choose them the way that you want them to be. Um, now let's take a look at the ability to take a snapshot. 
So if you wanted to share this information with maybe uh, one of your family members that knows a little bit more about um, uh, the internet, using the internet than you and setting up stuff like a Wi-Fi connection, you could of course uh, send them a screenshot and share this. There's a send option down below that will let you send that photo with uh, a, an additional app like your email app or sharing it on uh, Facebook or Twitter or something like that. So very good information uh, there indeed. Um, and then lastly, when you are on the main default view, which is the channel graph, we have the ability to uh, tap and hold and highlight one of these. So I tap and hold and then I choose which one I want to highlight. For example, I'll choose my main network in here and it highlights that so it makes it easier for me to see it. Um, because it, say you're in an apartment complex or a neighborhood with a lot of Wi-Fi and a lot of stuff showing up here, it might be a little difficult for you to see your signal. So you can always rotate your device on its side as well and it spreads out that graph a little bit, makes it easier for you to see. Nonetheless, this is a free app and it's uh, pretty much awesome for helping you figure out where the dead zones are in your home or your office for your Wi-Fi. Um, no longer are you going to have to really worry about wandering into those zones and losing your connection because you'll know where they are. A free app like this is uh, just awesome to have on your Kindle Fire. It's called Wi-Fi Analyzer. Recommend that you download it. Walk around your house, look and see where those strong signals and those weak signals are. And then, of course, uh, if you know how to fix those, great. If you don't, find a, um, a network professional or somebody who knows a little bit about uh, setting up you know, home and office Wi-Fi, and they can help you fix those dead zones so that no matter where you go with your Kindle Fire, you'll have a strong signal. So that's this week's app of the week, Wi-Fi Analyzer for your Kindle Fire. Make sure you check out our website, stateoftech.net, and Twitter, State of Tech, uh, at Twitter, and then also YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash stateoftech, where you can see all of our videos, and uh, we invite you to head on over there and check that out as well. So thanks again, and we'll see you next week on State of Tech, Kindle Fire App of the Week.